Hi guys, how are you? Um, what I would like to do with you today is just to go through the uh, 1994 LEGO catalog, as you can see here. Um, this is, um, as you can see from the front cover, this is the um, Christmas version. Uh, but yeah, not a big deal because the difference between this one and the regular one uh, is just the front cover itself, the pages inside. Um, are uh, are all the same okay so um i'm gonna try to keep this video uh, shorter than 20 minutes so i'm just gonna go very fast on some pages however feel free to take your time uh, uh, to pause the video in case there's something that uh, interests you and you can uh, then uh, uh, so you can take your time and then uh, move on only when you're ready, okay? This very first page does not much to see. It's uh, We are on the Duplo team that was appealing for the very, very young kids. So there's not much. There's just a few very, very big blocky pieces. Um, big enough to make sure that the, the little kids are not going to try to eat them and chop on them. Uh, but see, you know, very good beginning. Um, to try to get uh, very very little kids to start to play um, with duplo sets and with uh, you know trying to build things and try to stimulate uh, their intellect if I can say that uh, trains here just uh, obviously nothing uh, electrical for obvious reasons or push this is a, the, a bit of female, something with a twist to uh, try to appeal to ladies. Um, yeah, this the particular thing of this team was that uh, there was a screwdriver to put pieces together. Uh, just a bit of a more in original feature. Uh, here we move to basic. Uh, um, just, just wanted to mention as you. As I can see from the picture, I guess what this means is that when you were buying these buckets, you you were gonna get a whole lot of range of pieces from the, both the blue team and Lego system. So that was gonna give you a bit more um, uh, options when it was coming about building stuff, and uh, maybe it was gonna start to appeal to kids uh, for when they were gonna start to be able to look a bit more into details. Let me zoom up. I'll be here for uh, this basic 5p plus and what you can see here is that uh, yeah there's definitely like some pieces from the lego team uh, from the lego system team that you can recognize some printed pieces as well um, i think it was good ideas in a box it's a good uh, it's a good box you know where you get a lot of pieces and you can um, you know, come up with lots of uh, interesting things. Here we move to the Belleville team. So let me zoom out. Sorry, guys, I'm going to zoom in and out a lot. I'm not very practical of uh, using cameras and movie reviews. So please bear with, try, bear with me. Try to understand uh, and be patient about it. Thanks. Um, Belleville's uh, the Belleville team. Something uh, never really made much sense to me when I was a kid, not just because I'm a guy, but also because there were no minifigures. So. Um, I don't know. I was just. I didn't really recognize it as a Lego thing. However, if you have any, if any of you had uh, the chance to put their hands on these, uh, these sets, would be. I would be curious to know for what you use them for. If it is just to um, to use the the parts as for your own projects, or if um, actually you were gonna do something specific with them. Um, but it is a set. But it is a team. Um, nothing that appealed me that much, being more uh, oriented to, to the ladies, but um, definitely something that I recognized already when I was a kid was uh, that it was a team with a strong personality. I always found it a very interesting team um, for, for the very strong personality that he had. Here there is a very beautiful scene that I really like um, because there's a lot of care for lots of details. Now I'm gonna zoom in a bit because what I would like to do very briefly is to go through the the sets that were on sale back in the days, and I can see that they're very nice sales. Um, sorry, very nice sets. There are uh, there's a lot of playability. They look nice. They look good. The design is interesting. Um, it's very nice. So yeah, not not really much. Didn't really have much per specific interest, but uh, definitely was a good team. 
now we move to the core of the um, of uh, of the catalog we, we move to the town to lego system to the town uh, team and um, here there is a scene that I don't really like much this is um, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, I used to prefer a lot uh, the late 80s, very early 19 scenes because there was a lot more Lego plates, uh, there was more a bit care of the details, I think. They were making things more, the whole scene more Lego-ish. I didn't really uh, see this, notice this when I was a kid, so I didn't get very um, impressed with it. Um, but yeah, just my personal opinion. I always liked this uh, helicopter of this set. It's, um, it was a very, very nice design. So I'm just gonna move very briefly to the to show you here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so you can see it a bit better. I had this when, when I was a kid on a bird. I played a lot like crazy with this. Um, never, yeah. This is the airplane, not my favorite. I prefer the ones of the 90s, the or 1990 actually. That was my favorite. One. I know that for uh, you, for who was grown in different times, uh, those sets are very. Uh, simple and very attractive, but you know, I was born uh, and I grew up in different years, so that's why. Uh, page after uh, fire and police teams. Uh, if there was something that was never missing and that will never be missing in Lego, is uh, sets related to, to firefighters and uh, police. You always get the car, the airplane, the base, uh, the trucks, uh, everything. So yeah, I'm just gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in to, sh to give you a good close up of the set. I had some of these when I was a kid. Didn't like the 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 fire station. I liked uh, the one of the ni of 1990. That was my favorite. And this one was moving on already to a different style look. I, was, I had this one when I was a kid. It was a huge effort for my parents to to give me this as a present. I still have it home. It's um, it's uh, it's something that I'm gonna keep taking special care to that um, being a being a present, childhood present for my parents. Yeah, a couple of you know off-road trucks, some call them or cars. Uh, there's some lots of very little scenes. This was very, these were very nice. You could um, there was lots of playabilities, even if they were uh, very small sets. Especially this one. I had this with when I was a kid, and I played so much with it, with the digger. Uh, even if. Um, and even if there was not many pieces, but there was already still like you know a lot of playability. Page after, we move to racing and arbor teams. Um, nice thing, I like this. There's lots of details, lots of things put together. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Let's move to the. I'm gonna zoom in to show you the sets. Never liked this one because I don't like the the design of the cars. I don't know. I always found very ugly when I was a kid. I had this one when I was a kid and I played like crazy because I've always been attracted to racing and um, action and sets where there was action involved so I do remember about this one that um, I used to use all the spare bricks I had to build the circuits and then I was playing like crazy for hours with this one great um, it's a great set indeed a lot of memories related to this so there we go we're gonna move to these two ones on top here arbor i had this one when a kid i loved it love the design this i think is a great set there's cool lots of playability it's crazy i'm not interested in collecting it or buying it now but it's uh it's great there's all the boats uh, the airplane the crane definitely a lot to do octa this one when a kid when i was a kid beautiful set. i always liked trucks and trailers so um, i've always been attracted to that this one has been my childhood dream for way way too long i definitely need to put my hands on this one at some point but not yet it's not my priority so let's zoom out to the page after there's not much to see here not at least for my taste um leisure team with a few sets, um, guys, you, you tell me, guys. That there's not really much uh, um, that happened in my life, or that nothing of this team that caught my attention. But if do you have any stories or anything to say about them, feel free to comment 
in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to know more about them. Um, boats. Never been particularly attracted to boats in general. I like this one because it had a helicopter that could park on park on the boat, and I've always been very attracted to that. We moved to model team. Uh, model team was very interesting because it wasn't too. It was a mix between Technic and Lego system, and what I liked a lot was the aesthetics that were coming out of it because the Technic one were very stylized. I think the word for it is you know very very raw design while these ones were very accurate on details. I was, unfortunately I've always been very scared of these teams when I was a kid because they look too complicated to me. When I was a kid I was like more into the easy car, you know, easy truck. It was something that I was could consider like more personally more uh, achievable or something more than that could understand a bit more. So um, I was a bit scared of them but that was just me obviously. Trains. Let me zoom out here. Trains, trains are, have been, are, and will always be great in Lego history. Freight train, uh, I would have loved to have this one as a kid, but my parents really couldn't afford it. It was just way too expensive back in the days. Um, it just, and I'd remember like none of my, none of me or my friends managed to get their parents buy any of this so uh, just something that I go to touch or put my hands on only now as I hold it lots of very nice little sets uh, for uh, for trains but if you don't have the main train was the point to have the others oops sorry guys just to hit the tripod uh, Metroliner one of the best trains ever made I think in uh, the good history beautiful station this one very 90s look I really liked this one a lot uh, it because very ex it's very expensive. This one it can go up to 100 pounds in uh, here in England uh, on auctions if it is complete. Uh, pirates, pirates never been a team that appealed to me, uh, never been into it when I was a kid, never had any set either. So that's why maybe I wasn't. Um, I've never been attracted to that, but I know that it's not the same story for uh, uh, for many of you out there, so obviously this is just my personal opinion. Again, this was a great set, obviously you can see the, the, the playability with this set is very, very, it's very big. You can do definitely lots of things when you have okay, these Indigo Invaders, let me zoom out once again. Nico Invaders, I don't, didn't even look at this, just not something that... Um, sorry, let me zoom in again, I'm gonna show you guys, because some of you might be interested, but I never even spent time, I was just skipping straight away to the other pages. Nice scene here. The, the scene is nice, there's a lot of details, a lot of carody details, I like it. And here we move to the pirates and uh, yeah very nice stuff a lot of playability with the big sets a lot of personality in the sets even, as well obviously even if it wasn't my cup of tea i would say now we move to castle and uh, these sets are not like the early 80s castle but i think that i think were the golden age of the castles never been into it personally but this once again might not be the case for some of you out there so uh, just very briefly to the scene and then I'm gonna zoom in to show you guys every single set in a bit of close up if you guys have stories about pirate stuff if you are collectors or pirate stuff you have a collection feel free to uh, post something on, uh, on the comment section I'm gonna come to check out your channel let's see if you guys have a layout a pirate pirate or castle layout I'm oh, sorry there's another set here feel free like to let me know and uh, and I will definitely check out your uh, your channel your videos okay so black knights over here big castle the castle was very big here there is the use of the base plate that were going on a lot in a lot of sets in the 90s but I didn't like it, it was just not leguish at all not, not a big fan of that at all oh space let me zoom out here because now we go back to something that appealed a lot to me back in the days let's move very briefly to the scene here space police and ice planet 
I spelled it was new old 1993. Yeah, I can see that now. It's uh, it wasn't like presented as a new thing. Um, I didn't have any of these when I was a kid, but now I have all the three main ones. They're very beautiful. I like the team. I do remember a lot about this one when I was a kid, uh, when I was begging during Christmas time to my mom to buy me this one and give it to me as a present. Never managed to get that, but. Uh, but yeah, brings lots of memories anyway because I used to spend uh, every single day of the last couple of weeks before Christmas. I remember just uh, looking at the catalogs over and over to try trying to guess which one my parents would have bought me. And let me zoom in actually just very briefly. Jen Bricks made a very nice review of this set, so if you want uh, to know more more about uh, the set, feel free to keep an eye on, um, have a look at, at this channel, okay? And here as well, not a big fan of the, um, the moon base, or sorry, the station here, because it has the big uh, base, not leguish base. This one was a great set, I have it now, didn't have it when I was a kid, I bought it, and uh, it's huge. Great playability when you were a kid. What I liked a lot of the Ice Planet was the, the color scheme. Um, the translucent orange with the white and blue was very... always attract me. Got me very attracted to that. Uh, Spirus and uh, the third monorail that uh, um, was made by Lego. Uh, let me zoom in. I really don't like this. The only good thing of this set, I think, is that I had the, the track switches included already, but definitely not my cup of tea. I really don't like the moon base, the look. Uh, I love the other two, the monorail, the, the airport shuttle, and I like also the future one, but not this one. Obviously, just my personal. Moving to Spirals, very briefly. Um, what I liked a lot when I was a kid was the two robots here because um, it was a new thing, you know, you're always used to like little spaceships or cars or airplanes and uh, these two robots like got my attention back in the days because they were like uh, something very new, new design, new stuff, so... Okay, now we move to Technic, um, so definitely for the older ones, older, older kids. Uh, never been into Technic, it was just not my cup of tea because um, I just always found the design to be very raw. Plus my parents were very focused on the town set, so I got a lot of those, so my love uh, developed for those type of uh, teams, not really this one. Obviously there's always like an exception to the rule, and in my case it's this one that I got on a Christmas, and... Uh, um, yellow is my favorite color, so do you remember like that I loved uh, the look of this because it was catching my attention and um, I used to play a lot with it because uh, the shower, the functions on the shower allowed me like to play a lot with bricks pretending to load and unload stuff, so definitely Technic was not my favorite thing, but uh, still I got memories about it here, not much uh, for me personally, obviously uh, it was not, not much about Lego Technic for me, but I have a cousin, for example, that when I was a, when, when I was a kid, when he was like 12, 13, something like that, used to be awesome about uh, building uh, trucks of this type on his own, with all the spare bricks he had, put in function, he was very talented on this stuff, I remember like, when, I, when I was going to my, aunt, my auntie's house, to, that I was like going to his room and like check all this out because he was very talented about that. So you know, it just how oh, brain works for different people, you know. And uh, this type of stuff for me when I was a kid was just too difficult to understand. That's why. Uh, big car here as well. Never um, don't know anything about. It. I mean, I used to see, watch it when I was a kid, but it was just so huge. Must be huge this one. You can see that just looking at the size of the. Of the seats, the whole car must be huge. And I do remember this one. This set was like, um, you know, one of the sets where they you where you can buy multiple uh, different objects. I would say. And there was this one where that, let me do a little close up. Sorry. 
and this one got my attention because you could draw some stuff but it was talking about so we were like talking about programming here and stuff so um, definitely out of my understanding for for an 11 years old i was 11 yeah? i was 11 back in the day so that's it that makes it and uh, then last page um not much more left just uh, yeah, the old good days when uh, there was no internet, no email, nothing that where you just had to fill these up with a pen, put it in an envelope, send the whole thing over and uh, then if uh, you were lucky enough to get this to arrive wherever you wanted to send it you were gonna receive slowly by the time all the gadgets, option, whatever whatever it was uh, this registering to the Lego club was about okay so guys that's it I really hope it uh, didn't take too long and uh, thanks for your time just please um, subscribe like and comment subscribe to my channel like and comment the video uh, feel free to stay tuned I'm planning to also upload stuff with uh, Arduino in it so basic electronics to apply to trains layout and stuff nothing's Nothing serious because I'm a beginner on the stuff, but I'm pretty sure that for this reason it could appeal to many of you because you know we are all we would be all between beginners, so it would be very easy, understandable, and exciting stuff. Okay, thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you later.